I've come back to where I grew up, in Kentish Town, North London. I'm going to take you on a journey down a street I know very well. My first stop is a shop at one end of the street, where the owner has experienced knife crime firsthand. On that particular day, I was upstairs having a lunch, and my daughter was in the shop. I heard a commotion, so I came running down, and I saw three people attacking this person in the shop. Initially, I thought they were just having a fight. And then I saw the knives, and the blood. So I started trying to st scream and stop and press the button for the police. And where was your daughter? I couldn't see her initially, but then when I went behind the counter, I saw there's a little cupboard, the stair cupboard. She was hiding under there. Bill's experience was 10 years ago, but some people think the violence has been getting worse in the last couple of years. In 2018, there have been 50 killings already in the capital, which has put knife and gun crime back in the headlines. For me, it's personal. My head teacher, Philip Lawrence, was stabbed at the gate of his school as he went to the aid of one of his pupils. At the time, it shocked the nation. So why, after 23 years, is the pain of knife crime still with us? Further down the street, I bumped into Omar, who was very keen to show me the scene of some recent violence. I was shocked at what he had to say. I'm walking so, up there yeah. from the shops, yeah. reach here, yeah. right here, right there. So this is where they, they yeah. gathered? Yeah, and I hear, I hear the bikes coming from there behind me. Yeah. Two bikes. Yeah. And I reach here, middle, exactly in the middle of the square. Yeah. The, the local boys sitting there smoking, little kids playing, whatever. Normal, they agree. And then them two guys on the bike, Go up there, right in the centre of that, yeah. cut off the bikes, get the swords and start egging the people. Come on, come on, right here. I'm brought there in the afternoon. At night, you, you hear them on the motorcycles, yeah? When you hear the motorbikes, you notice kicking So literally, off. they ride the bikes along? along Everywhere, along. here, through the estate, through, because to hide from the police. What are they going to do? After speaking to Omar, I met some police officers patrolling the area. They took me to a spot round the back of one of the estates, which is used by gang members to stash knives. I mean, there's nothing. Usually we find stuff down here, but you can see we found about. I think one, one week we found, I think three knives in three days, three like one every day. Wow. Um, and you mentioned a machete as well. Yeah, that was that was here wrapped up as well. Knife crime is a community problem, which is widespread. Feuds in different pockets of London and across the UK, it's fueled by social economic problems. It angers me when I hear the issue put down to stereotypes. It's not just a black on black problem. So where do we go from here? Perhaps part of the answer lies at the end of the street. I've gone to meet my old friend Gemma. She set up a community group, Save Our Boys, Save Our Girls. Oh my word, how are you doing? Good to see you. Blast for the fast, my brother. How are you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, man, good to see you. She's here with some of the people she works with, Tamika, and Frost. Gosh, this takes me back. Like, I had my confirmation party here, my brother had his christening. I can, I, I can still smell the food as well, <laughs> the jollof rice. <laughs> but you know what, I mean, we, uh, what is going on at the moment here? It is crazy. I've heard about all the dramas that have been going on. And... It comes to our attention, especially on Facebook, that, you know, there was stabbings happening. So as they were happening, it was sort of going on live, you know, people updating mm. their statuses. And um, I thought, I can't, I can't sit back and just watch this anymore. I feel like I have to do something. So we've got, you know, an array of... Uh, opportunities, programs, training, help, so. Do you know anyone who's That's been affected, who's been caught up in, in the madness? My friend, his, bro his brother, um, sadly passed away a week or two ago from knife violence. And he used to work with me as well, so there was a lot of impact in like He was like family to all of us. You have to be onto your kids. You have to know what they're doing. Sometimes you might have to even search your children. Wow. It, that's, how, that's the level that we're at. You have to do that? I've had to search my, I've had to search my sons, wow. do you know what I mean? And um, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a fact of life. How do you know that mean? you feel as a parent having well, to do that? How, how am I going to feel to bury my kid? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, what are you going to do, police your kid or bury your kid? It's one of the two, man, do you know what I mean? And it's, it's that bad out here now. I think the only solution is through education and through giving these young people opportunities to change their life around, do you know what I mean?